I don't. Again, please, ladies, explain to me. Why are you so fixated with murdering babies? Like, what is it? What is it that just? Why? Why is it such a fucking concern? You know, like there, there's things that I'm 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 very passionate about, right? But like, if if, if some of those rights were were tr were trampled upon, I'd be upset, right? But like, when you even imply to women that their ability to murder babies might be a risk. They shriek and they freak out and they make insane rambling TikTok videos. And it's like, like I don't I don't understand why. Why do you need to kill babies so much? What if we did this? What if we got what if we got a bunch of women together, right? And we let you all kill like one or two babies, right? And then like you don't have to all kill individual ones. I'm just trying to save lives here, Royce. Like, what if you all like we got one baby, right? And we got all you white women together. And we, we, how about this? Hear me out on this. You know what they do sometimes with a firing squad? What they'll do is all the guns will be loaded with blanks except for one gun. What they'll do is all the guns will be loaded with blanks except for one gun. And what they do is they'll put people in a firing squad because they don't want the men in the firing squad to all live with the guilt of like, Oh God, I'm, you know, I killed this man. So they give them this little mental thing and they'll go, everybody's getting blanks except for one guy, but nobody in the group's gonna know who gets the live rounds. So what if we did that? What if we got all you white women, all you young white women in a room, right? And we gave you all guns with blanks and one of you got a gun with live rounds and we let you just shoot at a baby. And then you could all feel like, hey, we all killed this baby. And then maybe you can just get it out of your system. I don't understand why there's a madcap comedy about it either. Like, that's the thing I don't get. It's well, because it's p women's idea of hilarious is like, ah, what if I was just killing a, getting a, a living baby sucked out of my pussy hole and murdered with a fuck. And then if it lives, when it, if it comes out alive, we fucking stab it in its spine with forceps. But you know, hey, what do I know? Okay, so as we all know, Mersh is saying, your mother, you fucking murdering babies. You know, these fucking women out here, these fucking dumb whores, they're fucking at these bars that I go to, and they're fucking murdering babies. They get in a firing squad line, they're fucking putting the babies out, and they're like, go, go, gaga, motherfucker, throwing a rattle so they're not facing them, and they fucking open fire completely on the babies. And he thinks that's what abortion is. But, uh, abortion, Mersh, I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's when a fetus is disposed of in one way or another. You see, a baby is only a baby after it's born. And murder is an unjustified killing of another person. So therefore, it can't be murder of a baby if it's a fetus that's being aborted. I'm glad I could clear this up for you. Jesus fucking Christ. It, it, I, I have a feeling that if it wasn't for, you know, gay brothels, Mersh would not understand what sex was. This is a fundamental misunderstanding of what an abortion is. He actually thought that it was, like, an abortion was like, the women go through, like, the entire nine months of having the child and destroying her body, essentially, forever, making her worthless to other men. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm all, hold on, hold on. I know people are going to get mad at that. They're going to be like, oh, that's sexist. I'm just saying that if you're a woman and you have a kid with a dude, that's the dude that you've chosen to be with for life. Every other dude is going to come third place. So, don't even fuss about that shit. Fucking getting all emotional and shit. Anyways, so, he thinks that they're murdering babies, and that's not what it is. They're fucking... These fucking women. 
you know, let me tell you, I, I, it reminds me of a fucking, I used to work in a strip club, <laughs> anyways, so, I used to work there, and there were these fucking whores, I mean, they were fucking whores, they worked at a strip club with me, Mersh, Hollywood Mersh, also known as clandestine Mersh, so, anyways, I, I fucking, these women would suck the dicks of dudes in the back of the private room. VIP status, $200, and they let you put it in their butthole. These girls were eating salads every other day just so they didn't get shit on no customer's dicks. I was, I didn't want to fuck none of them. And they were all offered me, they were like, Merch, if you look the other way, I'll fucking, I'll, uh, I'll blow ya. But I was like, nope, I want that cash money, you motherfucker. Fuck is wrong with you. I took 10% off the top, just like a true fucking manager. That's how I got into fucking One Tree Hill and became an extra as one of those girls. They fucking went over to Hollywood and they fucking got in, you know, they were blowing dudes and fucking got, you know, it was, got into a position that she was the one that she posted Craigslist ads looking for extras. And she hit me up like, hey, Mersh, this is a big fucking break. And I, I, Fuck it, got a haircut, I put in my cream colored jacket that I still wear to this fucking day. Look at it, I'm still wearing it right now. Uh, I shaved my fucking face, and I look, man, because I, I use this beard because it's a fucking coping mechanism. I'm posturing. Just like I posture myself on the camera so you don't see all my fucking fat. I'm breaking the fucking fourth wall here.